the Joe Rogan experience. I'm pretty sure anxiety and depression are baked into the human experience. I don't think you can get away from them. Yeah, you sound like a good Catholic. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what being Catholic is all here's, about. Here's other, I used to have wicked panic attacks when I was 23, and I was also a gigantic piece of shit. And it was the thing that like made me start thinking about my life. I was like shocking in my. I was just like, uh, uh, and if I had just gotten medication, I just would have kept being a giant piece of shit. Mm. So I'm always yeah. like making. But sometimes you got to go through. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to slough through that stuff. Yeah. I was a fucking. How'd you pull piece out of it? Of shit! I just fucking had to come to grips with the fact that I was going to die eventually. Well, like, you, when you say a piece <laughs> of shit, you were just. Dude, I was just what a were you monster, doing? bro. What were you taking? No, nah, it wasn't even that. I was just. What were you doing? Just like selling drugs. Selling I was young. drugs. Oh, you were selling drugs. Yeah, I was drugs. a bad kid. Oh. I had no excuse. I had like, you know, I wasn't like I was like my back to the wall. I was just like, I just like got a couple jobs. I'm like, I don't like this. I was like, I should yeah. sell drugs. You what kind of drugs are you selling? <laughs> Pretty much everything. Really? Weed was the main. Weed was the mainstay. But then I started like I got I got coerced into pill. I didn't even know what pills did. So I like my friends would talk me into going and like finding pills for them. Turned yeah. into a whole thing, dude. It was it was bad news. How'd you get out of it? Just stopped eventually. Wow. Just stopped. Yeah. Patreon oh, I, podcast. Patreon. Took off. <laughs> <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> Thank you, Patreon. <laughs> no, it was I had That's like amazing. I didn't know what pills did, and I remember watching a whole not even a whole, but like it was an apartment complex, and there was these two buildings full of like all these kids who were living there. And it's a long story, but like I somehow got my hands on like Watson pharmaceutical dr like jugs of fucking it was they were Vicodins. <laughs> And like they were just, I didn't. I, thought I love that I somehow got my hands <laughs> on jugs of Something Vicodins. Happened. How did that's never happened to me? Weird. I've, I've never, never stumbled been, upon like, any yeah. jugs of Vicodin. Open up a cabinet. Dude, and look at these jugs. I don't think I was, I've ever seen a Vicodin. <laughs> What's a was, jug of Vicodin? How many are we talking? Dude, it's you know when you're at the pharmacy and you look behind the counter, and it's those big boys. Oh, like a whey protein bottle. Yes. Like one of them big yes. Vicodin scoop protein. Things? Yeah. How much was that worth? Uh, well, at the time, it was. You're going to jail. You're talking about this on the podcast. You're fucked. No, uh, statue of limitations. What is the statue of limitations? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> statue of limitations. Statue. <laughs> statue. Statue uh, of limitations, dude. I'm, shades, I'm in the clear. Shades got the shades on. It's time. It's over. Okay, here we go. But no, it Mushrooms was. That's in. basically the thing. I was just a fucking Turn nightmare. Turn Do 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 do. That was the thing. So I'd you statue of limitations. Sta you before, statue. This is before the statue. It. The statute. Before the get statute, the French gave us this. I was laying in bed, just going, "What the fuck am I doing with my fucking life?" Having panic attacks, yeah. and it forced me to be like, "Yeah, it's probably a pretty bad idea." Everything. So I how'd you on. how'd you phase out of it? I just stopped. It, it, it made me develop like a sense of like, "Yeah, this is fucking other people up." And I like saw people getting fucked up, and I'm like, "I'm gonna stop doing this." And you kept getting robbed at gunpoint, you. and I kept getting robbed at gunpoint. <laughs> How many times you get robbed at gunpoint? Twice. Whoa. Yeah, twice. Twice. After the first time, you're like, this is never going to happen again. After the first time, I went back. The plug robbed me at gunpoint, and he was like, I won't do it again. I was like, okay. <laughs> you said yes, daddy. <laughs> yeah. The plug? What's the plug? Pl the dude, who's your supplier? Oh, your supplier robbed you at gunpoint. Well, yeah. It was, like a, it was kind of a mess. He, I would give him money, and he would go get them. And then one time, he came back without them, and he, I was like, dude, just have them. I was so scared of these guys. And I was like, you can just keep it all. I don't care. And he was like, how do I know you didn't set me up? And he pulled a gun out on me. And I was like, ugh. And my roommate walked down and went, ah! And <laughs> oh, they, he just, they both just ran out. But, yeah. And so then you tried to buy from him again? No, I told him. I, he, like, time passed. And he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. I found out who actually robbed me. <laughs> he's like, if you could come back, I'll take care of you, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'll, like, make it worth your while. And I'll just, you'll never have to put any money up ever again. So and then what like, happened? I just went back. Started, you know. And then he and then happened, happened to just pull his gun. Uh, <laughs> then apparently he got in trouble for. I think he tried to shoot at somebody. So I went back to pay him back one time, and then some guy was like, "Nah, he's in jail." He tried to so, shoot but, someone. But he tried to. You said he pulled the gun on you twice. Once, a different guy pulled a gun on me. <laughs> <laughs> but you said he said he would never do it again. He didn't. He oh. was true to his word. So that guy would never do it again. He was the other guy did it. Some other guy. It was some guy. I was in a house, and a guy came in with a gun. That was that stunk. What was this about? Weed. <laughs> Pounds. They just said, give me your weed? Yeah, he. it was like kind of like one of those things where like a guy comes in, and he goes, oh my God, some guy happened to be behind me with a gun, everyone get down, and he, they, I was sitting there like, this is bullshit. So then he like just took the money, took like the weed, and then he was like, just like, who the fuck, you know, blah, blah, blah. He started telling me like I was on his territory, and I was like, dude, come on, man. And I just sat there, and he just talked for like two minutes, and he was like, if you guys try to look out the window, we're gonna. there's people outside, they're going to shoot you. He took all of our cell phones. I did have a thousand bucks behind my back though. I didn't tell him about, so I got to keep that. Mm. Pretty That's tough. pretty sweet. That was pretty tough. A lot of people would have lost their composure. Thankfully, that other guy pulled his gun on you before, so you were. Dude, know what? Know what happens though is you lose. Everything slows down, 
and you're able to like, I was in that, the first time I just shit my pants, the second time I was like looking at the kid who I never met before, who I knew kind of set this up, because I watched one kid I knew like be in a real state of fear, and I watched this other guy pretending to be scared, all while this guy in a ski mask was like, whoa, 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 with a gun, and it was just like, fuck, I really hope, like the part of my brain, like I might get shot, just went offline, Oof. and I was able to watch and be like, I'm gonna fucking kill this little motherfucker when this guy, you know, blah, 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 but. And so how long after that did you stop? Couple years. <laughs> <laughs> I was chasing the bag, dude. For real. Oh my god. I got Adrian. robbed. I didn't make any money. I got robbed constantly. I was too trusting. I got robbed cons I got robbed by club one time. Club point and sucked. Club. Hey, these guys hey, just were like, we'll bash your with the shillelagh. <laughs> it's like, oh, you better give me the weed. It's that weed you got, Matt McCusker. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, not again. Fuck. Damn. Yeah, it's so, he's a non-violent. He's a non-violent drug dealer. Yeah. So how did you <laughs> did go, How did you start making money when you quit? I always worked in construction and stuff too. I'd always have a oh. side gig, so I never depended on one too much. So I could always say like "fuck you" to my job if I didn't like it, and if I ever, things got like weird, I could be like oh, I'm not gonna do. I would chill. Mm, so God. I had a kind of like hybrid approach. Mm. And how'd you get into podcasting? I was just a comedian. Me and Shane were just living together. I'm like, dude, can we please do a podcast? I'm fucking dying here, dude. <laughs> <Please do laughs> I was playing video games. I was like, yeah, fuck it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was just. I mean, I was. What is I, it called again? In case we forget, Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, man, that was a. Uh, it's not the way. That was not the way. No, it doesn't sound like the way. But I was. Li- Sounds I, like you got some good stories out of it, though, and you lived. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. But I lived. I was living according to a fucked up system, and it was like things called mental disorders got me out of it. That's what I'm trying to say. 